Ever feel like, whoa, my emotions are like really about to blow? Like I could take out a whole building. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been there. Well, in Dan to Dan, Ken loses control, our boy Ken. He's dealing with that big time, but like times a thousand. Yeah, with superpowers in the mix, this isn't just your average bad day. No kidding. We're going deep on this one, folks, talking about the uh -huh. emotional roller coaster, the battles, the inner turmoil. It gets kind of dark, not gonna lie. It does, and that's what's so fascinating, right? It's this idea that everyone deep down has these inner demons, these raw, powerful emotions. Right, but for Ken, they're not exactly metaphorical anymore. This episode really drives home that having superpowers, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. No, no, definitely not. In fact, it often seems like the more power someone has, the more dangerous those inner demons can become. Totally. And this episode, it doesn't shy away from showing us the consequences. Like, remember that scene right after the Turbo Granny fight? Ken's exhausted. He's been pushing his powers to the limit. Oh yeah, and he's still riding that adrenaline high. You can practically see the tension radiating off him. Exactly. And then Momo and the others, they try to talk to him, try to calm him down, and bam, he just explodes. And it's not just that he yells at them. It's the words he uses, the venom in his voice. You can tell he's deeply hurt by something and it all just comes pouring out. It's brutal. And it really makes you think about how even when we're trying to protect the people we care about, losing control like that, it can do more harm than good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because it's like that old saying, you always hurt the ones you love the most. Yeah. And that scene, that's that saying in action, even with all the supernatural stuff going on, it's a very human, very relatable moment. It is. And the best part is the episode doesn't let Ken off the hook for it. It doesn't just sweep his outburst under the rug. Right. It actually digs deeper. You start to see Ken wrestling with the consequences of his actions. Yeah. The guilt, the regret, it's all there. Totally. And that's what makes his character arc so compelling. He knows he messed up, and he's actively trying to fix things, to be better, to control his power, his anger, everything. Exactly, and that's where this theme of growth and redemption really shines. Ken isn't perfect, he's gonna make mistakes, but he's trying, that's what matters. And you know, it got me thinking, how often do we, even without crazy psychic powers, let our emotions get the better of us? Oh, all the time. It's part of being human. We're not robots. We feel things sometimes very intensely. True, but that's why this episode resonates so much. Ken's struggle, though heightened by the supernatural, it's something we can all relate to. 100%. That struggle to find balance, to master our emotions, it's universal. Yeah. And this episode, it shows us that journey, even with all its messiness. And it's not like he's facing this alone either. Let's talk about his friends for a second. They're amazing. Oh, they're the best. I mean, yeah. we could have easily been like, okay, Ken's gone full supernova. We're out of here. Right, but they don't. They stick by him, they call him out on his crap, sure, but they also offer support, understanding. And that's so crucial. They become this grounding force for him, this reminder that even when he feels lost and angry, he's not alone. Exactly. It highlights the importance of having people you can rely on, people who help you through those rough patches. People who challenge you to be better, but also accept you, flaws and all. Absolutely, it's a powerful message about friendship, about community, about how important it is to have people there for those moments when you feel like you're about to lose it. Because let's be real, everyone has those moments. And sometimes just knowing someone has your back can make all the difference. So as we wrap this deep dive, it really leaves us with some big questions. Like, if our deepest emotions were magnified, like Ken's, could we handle it? Would we use that power for good or would it consume us? That's a tough one. It is, it's a question worth thinking about, you know? What would you do? What are your inner demons and how do you keep them in check? Let us know in the comments.